Welcome back to Blue White Weekly, your inside look into Georgia Southern Athletics on this week's edition of Coach's Corner presented by Ford. We're here at J.I. Clement Stadium with head coach Rodney Hennon. And coach, thanks so much for joining us. Well, it's good to be here, Haley. You guys are wrapping up fall ball season. Where did you see the biggest strides from your team? We had a really competitive fall, probably as competitive a fall practice as, as we've had in, in several years. So that, that was really good to see. But every fall, you're trying to evaluate your new players. Obviously, you have a history with, with your older players. And we do have a good nucleus of some veteran players that have been around the program and kind of been through the fires over the years, so to speak, and a big influx of, of new players as well between our freshmen and, and some transfers that we bought in. So just trying to see those guys blend together and implement a lot of our systems on, on the field and see how, how those guys improve and try to determine what roles are going to look like for the spring season. There's a tradition here at Georgia Southern with the fall ball season. The winners of the fall World Series eat steak and the losers get hot dogs. What did your, the team Meerkats, they won. How did they like their steaks? Well, they said they like them pretty thick, so uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll fire the grill up here in in a few weeks before they go home for Christmas holidays. But that's all that's all pride more than anything else. But uh, you know, fortunately, again, it was a competitive fall and it was a very competitive World Series, and 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 that's what you like to see more than anything else. Uh, I know we had a pretty good turnout on a Saturday and. You know, people that were out here, I think, saw guys really getting after it, playing hard. You saw guys laying out, you know, making catches in the outfield. So, so those are the things that, that I was encouraged by, just how hard we played during that series. You talk about your newcomers, and what did you see from them, and who are some names that Eagle Nation should look out for? Well, you know, we've got some, some new players that certainly are, are going to be able to, to contribute. Ty Fisher is, is a left-handed pitcher, a transfer from Tennessee Tech. Danny Madden, another, another transfer, another left-handed pitcher uh, who, who actually pitched against us last spring when he was with, with Towson. Thomas Ross, a junior college transfer, Javon Ray. Those are, are some new faces that, that have a chance to, to be a big part of things in the spring. And looking at the program as a whole, you have a couple new staff additions. Can you talk about those, the new um, staff additions and what their role is? First of all, A.J. Batisto, a lot of people, the Eagle, Eagle Nation know A.J., remember A.J. A.J. was an outstanding pitcher for us. Uh, 2005 to 2007, uh, kind of interesting stat on A.J. Our pitching staff, our guys have responded really well to him this fall. Also knew Jeff Cordy, an outstanding young coach. Uh, he has a catching background, which was a need for us on our staff. So he's done a really good job in, in developing and working with our catchers. And then Christian Bourne as our director of baseball operations. And then also Tyler Owens, you know, is still back. You know, Tyler finished his eligibility last year, but it's great, you know, having him back as, as a grad assistant this year, helping out with the pitching staff. You've got your staff and you've got all your new kids. What are you most looking forward to in your 23rd season here? The great thing about this job is every year is always different and, and that's what's exciting about it. You're always blending in new faces and, and uh, that's a process that, that began you know, back in August, the first day we got this group. But I, I do like the blend of, of the veterans that we have and the new guys that we have brought in have been uh, well received with open arms by these guys. As I said, I think the most encouraging thing was how competitive practice has been this fall. And so hopefully that's gonna to translate to some big things uh, in the springtime. Well, we're really excited for you, Coach. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Haley. Again, that was head coach Rodney Hennon of Georgia Southern Baseball. We'll be back for more Blue Eye Weekly after this.